Have you ever seen a man with a thigh 74 centimeters long in circumference? Well, there is Robert Forstmann, a German track cyclist. But who is Robert Forstmann? How come he has possibly the biggest legs in the world? Why is he called Quanzilla? Hello and welcome to yet another exciting edition of your favorite bodybuilding channel. In today's video, we spotlight German track cyclist and recreational bodybuilder Robert Forsman, who rose to worldwide prominence at the Olympic Village in London in 2012. Although not a professional bodybuilder, Robert continues to inspire many across the world. What can we learn from his story? Come with us as we take a look. Early Life Robert Forsman was born on March 5, 1986 in Greizthuringia, Germany, to Frank and Uta Forstmann. Robert was born with a genetic condition that makes it hard for enzymes in his body to inhibit excessive muscle growth in his thigh. I have photos of me when I was 4 years old at the beach and I also had big legs then. It is a genetic thing. I'm like my parents," Robert told Ride in an interview. As a 15-year-old, Robert was already competing in cycling contests in his hometown of Gera. It was here that his talent was discovered and encouraged. Onward, Robert fought his way up to the top. In 2005, he became part of the German track bicycle national team. He also joined the German Federal Police Force as a police officer. Behind the nickname Quadzilla Robert rose to fame in July 2012 during the Summer Olympics in London, United Kingdom. A picture of Robert's massive thigh in contrast to that of his fellow German cyclist André Griepel, who also had a bigger than average leg quad, went viral on Twitter. This culminated in the nickname Quadzilla, which he became popular for. The name is probably a cue from the group of muscles located in the front of the thigh, the quadriceps femoris, and the high-powered all-terrain vehicle, ATV, built from 1987 to 1990. Achievements Robert is a three-time winner of the Six Days of Berlin contest, a six-day tracking cycling race held annually in Berlin, Germany. He is also a nine-time German champion, four-time European champion, two-time world champion, and an Olympia bronze medal holder for various competitions. Training Robert's training philosophy, you succeed when you are different, for all intents and purposes has stood the test of time. Robert's number one training workout exercise is the barbell squat. Easy to guess, right? Knee bend and leg press are also two top priority exercises for the German. His routine also includes deadlifts, leg presses, swill ball crunches, box jumps, and of course, biking. Road training with his bike is one of Robert's top exercises. This is understandable considering the fact that he is a cyclist. During his road training, Robert races between 50 to 80 kilometers. And in fact, he also believes that it's possible for him to do a 230 kilometer ride with his big legs. Speaking on the various types of heavy squats he does, Robert says the number of times he repeats his workout and the level of weights he lifts depend on the occasion. In preparation for the season, I'm training a lot of repetitions. So typically 60 to 90 per workout with 50 to 70% of my maximum weight. As the season progresses and the closer I get to the peak of the season, the repetition numbers decrease and the loads increase to the maximum, which for Robert is 280 kilograms doing 1-3 to three repetition for 4-6 to six sets. Also speaking on his leg press, he noted, I exercise a lot with just one leg because on the bike, you need each leg. Power on the right leg, power on the left leg. So it makes sense to train one at a time. Nutrition Robert's favorite food is fish. Robert says it is important for him that his sports nutrition is tested because a normal nutrition is not sufficient to cover his daily requirement. In order to avoid a deficiency, he takes tested supplements. This makes him healthy and free without having to worry about doing offense. The Undeterred Cyclist In early 2019, Robert crashed in a velodrome while riding a bike at a speed of 70 km per hour. He consequently suffered some injuries in various parts of his body, broken collarbone, two broken ribs, and a left broken shoulder blade. This accident and the ordeal that trailed it prevented him from completing the six-day-long cycling series that was being held in Bremen, Germany at that time. There were fears of what lied ahead of him with regards to his cycling career after the crash. However, Robert proved his doubters wrong. 
showing his resilience to his fans. Several months after the crash, he resumed at the gym to keep his massive quads intact and prepare for the 2020 Summer Paralympics scheduled to hold in Tokyo, Japan, between August 24 and the 5th of September 2021. The Toast Bread Experiment In 2015, Robert agreed to an experiment by Nathan Grossman from the Stockholm Academy of Dramatic Arts. He was to generate power for a bread toaster with a quad exercise on a stationary bike. The team behind the experiment wanted to find out the amount of energy and power needed to power a 700-watt bread toaster. At the end of the exercise, Robert generated 0.012 kilowatts per hour, just enough to toast the bread, before crumbling out of exhaustion. According to Simply Shredded, the study concluded that it takes one Robert Forstman to toast a slice of bread, 180 Roberts to power a car, and 43,000 Roberts to power an airplane. Paralympic Dreams For Robert, it is important that he continues to work hard to make sure that the world doesn't forget his name. It is an honor for me to have my own nickname. Everybody who hears the name Quanzilla knows that it means Robert Forstman, he says in an interview. In a career turn that may not surprise many, the former Olympian has taken a liking for the Paralympics. In 2019, he became a member of the German Disabled Sports Association, he now rides in tandem as a pilot for the visually impaired Kai Cruz, as they dream of gold at the Paralympics having won a paracycling international event. Career aside, Robert campaigns for the prevention of doping in competitive sports in partnership with Best Body Nutrition. With the possibility of more productive years ahead, Robert's sporting prowess and recreational bodybuilding success story motivate thousands of his followers on social media. Even as they hold on to his personal motto, success comes to those who are different.